I'm sorry. I, I love my wife. And how come you keep lying to her? I mean, it's only three weeks ago you were sleeping off hangovers in a linen cupboard. Do you think that that's a quality that recommends you for a senior position on this ward? We could start fresh. We could begin again. It's over. I was seeing you at home then, Dad. Right. Right, yes. You were taking your eye off the ball, Michael. And it is affecting your work, your patience. My patience are fine. I've decided to recommend you for an interview for the Keller Fellowship. That's fantastic. <laughs> Dr. Young? All surgical teams have been emailed detailed instructions, so no excuses. Um, <clears throat> could I ask you to brief the heads of department, please? Surely that would be better coming from you. I've got to be with them all morning. Oh, OK. Rick. <clears throat> Do you not think wheeling this out now is a little reactionary? Reactionary? Hmm. We need to guard ourselves against any further errors of judgment. And the trust needs to know that we've taken action. We should make sure that Mr. Spence is paying attention. I'm going to need to see his private paperwork, too. Oh, that's not going to go down too well. He uses Holby theatres. He follows Holby procedures. They don't wait around, do they? Mm. Oh, look at the bags underneath my eyes. I should sue the NHS for what they've done to my face. Yeah, but you volunteered for the night shift. Yeah, because they don't pay me enough. They're a nurse down with Rachel going to geriatrics and people dare to call me a slacker. <laughs> uh, hi, Mr. Spence. Morning. Ready for another day at the Holby Circus? Mm. And uh, Annalise? Uh, she's doing fine, thanks. Well, um, let them know you're thinking of her. I'll be sure to do that. Oh, now, I'd love to stay in chat, but uh, got to get the day up and running. Charge to 360 and all that. Yeah, something like that. Oh, I uh, got the email. Thanks. It was Mr. Cullen who assured me that you're ready. Uh, Miss Theatre, 17 year old female, stabbed last night in the park. What is it with kissing his head? I, um, I got the interview. Of course you did. If you can hold your own in AAU, you can handle Keller. Roller skating accident, Bay 3. I can run the show down here if that helps. OK, all yours. Very kind. Dr. Young. Oh, yeah. Please, make yourself at home. And we will try to get you out of here as soon as possible. If you need anything, ask Nurse Foster. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes to talk you through the procedure, and you are booked in for takeoff at 1,200 hours. And I'll be out in the real world before dark. Well, I can't make any ironclad guarantees, but if you want my honest opinion, you'll be two martinis down by sunset. I'll hold you to that. OK. Mr. Spence. Yeah? Your money tree is dead. Oh, so it is. Thank you. Someone killed my money plan. They're, uh, supposed to be good luck, apparently. I saw it on a program last night, Feng Shui or something. Well, that explains why the gods have been frowning on me lately. Yeah. Uh, this is Annalisa's stuff. They're about to check it out, but I thought she might want it. Should I stick it in the post? Uh, no, I'll take it. 
I don't trust your postal service. No. <laughs> I'll see you around. Ah! Right, get him to theatre before that appendix bursts. Uh, call Keller, find me a slot. <laughs> That can't be appendicitis. Neutrophil count's low, means white cell count is low, must be immunocompromised. Okay, take him back and book him in for a CT scan. You sure? Absolutely. Okay. Hi, Matt. Hannah. Uh, can you give me a call when you get this? Thanks. Michael. Connie Beecham. I just thought you'd like to know that Mrs. Hewitt's agreed the settlement. It's not a surprise. Board must be pleased. They did what they had to do. And you made the right decision. I didn't really have a choice. But now news of my humiliation is spreading like wildfire. We've been very discreet. I'm sure you were, Connie. How's Annalise? Annalise is fine. We're fine. Good. Right, well, I'll see you upstairs at 10. Rick's got me unveiling the new electronic noting system. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to give that one a miss. Well, do you know what, Michael? I think it would be a good idea if you were there. It was the mayor, wasn't it? Keep you. Here we are. Little housewarming gift. <laughs> Dad, you've done plenty. You're lending us a car and everything. You don't need anything. It's a, it's a bread maker. No home should be without one. You can even make croissants. It's all right. It's my pre-in tray. You are a walking disaster zone. <sighs> I am so sorry. Hey, Connie's heart is made of stone. <laughs> Some paper towels. Hey? Okay. Your turn. Mr. Burton seems to have developed an unhealthy obsession with me. Ben seems very on edge. Um, it's been a bit distant these past couple of days. Well, they do say that moving house is one of life's most stressful activities. Or do you think it could be something physical? I don't know. Maybe he's just fed up with me already. Uh, Martha, he's been very ill. And perhaps that's related. You know, it could be his medication. <sighs> we should get moving. Before I manage to do any more damage. Okay. Oh, keys. Are you driving then? Ben, you've got a nosebleed. I was thinking of going to visit Mum. Get some sunshine. I can save up enough money. I've been working in a florist. Can't see you in a floral penny. <laughs> I like it. Flowers are funny. People use them to say things. I'm sorry. I love you. But you're doing well for yourself, Dr. Young. 